Hi. Um, today I'm just doing a real quick video about um, inspirations from Reggio Emilia. And um, we're covering chapter three. A couple of things that I wanted to point out that I really, really, um, I love. I, I love the whole concept and theory that children are curious and bright and that they have the capabilities to direct and be co-directed, um, working together that teachers and children um, are co-learners. They're learning all about the environment and the world around them, um, just stretching those imaginations. Um, one of the passages I liked was where um, Reggio Emilia says, the image of a child um, as rich in resources and potential, strong, powerful, competent, and most of all, connected to adults and other children. Um, that's just basically that was their um, guiding idea. And so the fact that they believed so much in the strength of children and um, how far they could go and the fact that it wasn't just teacher led that um, children had the input and they worked in collaboration together to build curriculum and that the families were all a part of this. It's just amazing to me. Um, I can honestly say that when I had my daycare, I think um, I would say, had I known about this um, theory, um, that very much my daycare was run that way. I think um, because I believe in using a lot of natural um, products and I like hands-on and I think I'm just about as curious as the kids are when it comes to new um, things. I love science stuff. I love uh, just that whole getting out there and finding out how things work. It's just a, a real natural uh, method of learning. And so um, I liked, I really liked this. Um, makes me kind of sad that in public school, um, this really isn't a viable course um, as we are, as teachers are directed to teach to the state standards so that our kids are meeting those qualifications. Um, I think that it steals a lot of the joy that uh, the, this program presents for families and for children and for teachers. I think just the, the sheer excitement of, of what they see and, and having their work displayed, um, it's pretty amazing to me. So um, another thing I liked was where um, they talk about how, um, you know, the families are part of how the, how the, um, role is played out. Um, I'm really sorry. We've got family messing around down there. So it says another essential idea offered by Reggio Emilia is the role of educators and parents as advocates for a strong image of children. That is to make visible to the community and larger society, the competence and the thinking of young children. Um, I just, I love, I just love their whole concept that children are strong and they're wise and they're capable and I think if we did that more in the public schools, I think our kids would have a higher retention rate. I think they'd be more excited to learn and um, dropout wouldn't be as big of an issue. I think the way that the um, art, the Reggio Emilio um, encompasses families and togetherness and believing in oneself and celebrating the knowledge, um, I think that just creates such a great um, self-image and self-awareness of other people. So that's my take. <laughs> um, I look forward to hearing what you think and I'll talk to you later.